in this video I'm going to be showing some water on roads and driving through some water so I just didn't want anyone to be triggered um, because I understand that from PTSD from flooding but um, there's water from Bayou Lafourche pouring into the WMA and there goes um, just lots of water okay <laughs> lots and lots of water and that's all coming from Bayou Lafourche into the wildlife management area. Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I hope you're all having a great, wonderful day. And if it's not, I hope it turns around for you quickly and you are able to enjoy your day. So I am crocheting on this um, happy birthday granny rectangle blanket that i am making the month of march so what i'm doing this month is just crocheting on this blanket every day and chatting with you guys while i'm working on it um, some days i'm answering questions that you leave in the comments and then some days i'm just chatting and so today i'm just gonna be chatting because um i just want to share with you guys what we're um dealing with out here where we live now it is a bright sunny beautiful day here in monroe louisiana but we have a secret out here where we live once you get up town nobody knows what's going on out here everybody's just running around living their life and out here we are dealing with water we had so much rain this past week um like about eight inches of rain well it was it was 7.20 at one point and then we got more rain and they said the new rain could bring us one to two more inches so i'm assuming we you know ended up with about eight inches of rain and that is a lot in just a few days time it poured and poured and poured rain so Anyway, I thought we better run to town and pick up a few items, um, grocery-wise, just to get us through a few days if we get trapped at home. <clears throat> because um, even though it's quit raining, we were already, the ground is so saturated that the water has nowhere, you know, it's not, and it has nowhere to go down. Because the ground isn't thirsty, isn't drinking the water up, okay? So, where does all that water in town go? It goes to the bayou past my house. So, all that water has to travel through here to get to the bayou. But, the bayou is so full, it's out of its banks and flowing this way also. So, the water's going to meet in the middle. And, it's just going to sit there for a few days until it can um drain off get soaked in to the ground which the ground is so wet and saturated that would be a slow thing but we are having sunny sunny days today was super sunny and just a beautiful day um so maybe some of that sun will you know start evaporating water the wind is blowing not too hard but it's blowing gently out there so maybe that'll help some of the water so i'm going to break right here and show you what we're dealing with here we go guys we are turning around here at this point um this is a road not far from my house at all just down the road and we were turning around because um there was a lot of water and we saw that water that cold water up on that car looked really deep so we're just turning around here and you can see there's water everywhere people's yards are nothing but water yeah yeah that's what it is <laughs> and that water is just coming on down um and it's headed towards my house with a lot more water behind that so even that that you're looking at right there is deeper now and more of it than it was 
in this video. But I wanted to include that just to show that, yeah, it's, it's a lot of water. It's a lot, a lot of water. Lots of water everywhere. Water, water everywhere. <laughs> so coming on up and it pulling up to a higher part. Okay, so now this is just water, okay? Water on the roads. And it's just getting deeper, you know, all day long. It's just getting deeper. More water coming. More and more water. Yeah, as long as we stay in the middle, the highest part of the road, um, we're good. And we know where the sides are for getting, you know, getting too close to the sides or anything. But, yeah, that's what we're doing with out here. It's all that water. <laughs> and so, as I say later in the video, the water has to pass through here because it's headed to Bayou Lafouche, which is right past my house. And so, all the water's got to, got to come through here to get to the bayou. And so, you know, times have changed. Like, this used to not be an issue, but um, times have changed. Places have built up, you know, malls have built, stores have built, and concrete doesn't absorb water. So that means the water has changed its routing ways, you know, how it gets places. And um, there's less trees, less dirt, because it's more parking lots and, you know, concrete buildings and such. And so, yeah, that's what happens as cities grow and expand. Um, the natural waterways have to find new ways to travel. So, guess what? <laughs> it's traveling right past my house. <laughs> so, yes, we're probably going to be stuck at home for a few days. And that's okay. We're, we'll be fine. We're not worried about it. But, yeah, there is a lot of water. A lot, a lot of water. And more coming in right behind that. Like, in town, it's some water, too, and it's just making its way out here. And then also, Bayou Lafouche, which is right past my house, is also full and backflowing this away towards my house. So, here we did stop, and we contemplated, should we go? Ah. <laughs> uh. Should we go or no? <laughs> but we did. We went. And we were fine. We were fine. And we had to go and get some groceries to hold us over if we were stuck and couldn't go anywhere for a few days. But anyway, guys, that is what we were dealing with. And... Um, I don't know how much more of this clip there is, but just wanted to let you guys know that we're safe. We are. We're doing good. I appreciate your thoughts and prayers, though. Oh, it's a lot of water. <laughs> it's water everywhere. It's so much water. Oh, my goodness. So, our house is slowly getting surrounded by water and so we we no longer have a four-wheel drive truck and so we have two small cars now and so at some point um like now we we're not going to be able to drive our vehicles through that water and so we're just thinking it's going to get deeper and deeper and more water um more of the roads are going to get flooded as that water passes through here. So we may get stuck at home for a few days and not be able to leave. 
we're gonna have to make sure we get our cars up to higher ground um, if that water starts coming up anymore at our house um, we need to get our cars to higher ground but anyway so we're probably gonna be stuck at home a few days and so we wanted to just go ahead and get some groceries to um, you know so we didn't run out of stuff <laughs> So that's what we did. We ran and got some, um, you know, milk, eggs, me some chicken broth, mashed potatoes. I don't know what Big Daddy got. He got a few things too. Um, just so you know, we we got food. <laughs> so that's what's going on out here. I hope that, I know that rain just went everywhere. I know a lot of people across the south and even maybe higher up dealt with a lot of rain also. And so I hope you're not dealing with flooding. Now, I'm not concerned about our home flooding. Our house is up off the ground. I mean, it has flooded before. But I'm not concerned about this flooding our home. Um we're just concerned about the roads being flooded and not being able to get in and out. So, <clears throat> but we'll be okay at home. We just, um, you know, we'll just hunker down and stay home, which was probably going to stay home anyway. <laughs> so it's no different. But, um, yeah, we're not going to try to go anywhere. We got, you know, animals to tend to and uh, we'd just be more comfortable here at home instead of you know having to get get go anywhere if it gets too deep to get our cars back and forth but today's Thursday at the time I'm recording this and that water is just going up a little more each day um, so if Big Daddy can get to work on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, we would just stay home anyway. So, we're good. We're good. We just got to, um, you know, make sure the water don't creep up too much before we get our cars out. And, you know, this ain't our first rodeo. We've dealt with this. I've dealt with it for 34 years. Um, Big Daddy has dealt with it his whole life. So this is not our first rodeo. We know what we're doing. We know that, um, you know, it'll it'll go down eventually. Down in Columbia, at the spillway down there, if they open the um, locks and dams down there, the water will, could empty out of the Foose Bayou. <clears throat> and then we would um, get some relief. But until they do that, and it's only affecting, you know, my end of the world here, not the whole town. So, they're not concerned about it, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> whoever whoever the powers to be isn't really concerned about it because it's only affecting the few houses out here. But, yeah, we have... Um, dealt with this and this is kind of what happened in 2016 when we flooded um after the after the rain was over with all the water from town came here because it has to pass through here to get to the bayou and so yeah it was just so much water that it did flood and it had nowhere to go so it stood here for about a month before the level of water went down that was really rough <laughs> it was a really rough time but um yeah i am i'm set though i'm set i got plenty of yarn to crochet with plenty of time might take lots of naps I have been feeling just kind of sleepy here lately. So I just changed, I mean not changed, I just added on some green right in the corner. I like how that changed right in the corner.
and now I'm just turning my blanket to go down this side. So uh, some people have asked about my white. Am I going to do it all the way around, around, or am I going to um, make balls? I'm going to make balls because this isn't going to end in a corner um, to add, you know, to start the white to do a whole round like that. It'll end randomly somewhere, and I'll just tie on and keep going. So that's what's going on with us. We have I, I have a lot on my mind. <laughs> I've told y'all that March is a rough month. March and April are rough months for us because of that reasoning. I mean, it's just stressful time, and when you add the you know all that water in. My PTSD kicks in, and it's like flashback to 2016, which is not that bad. It's not that bad. Please, please understand. I do not feel like we're in danger of our home flooding. I feel like we're in danger of having some rest time at home. <laughs> I'm glad Big Daddy, you know, was able to get out and go to work this morning, and hopefully tomorrow, being Friday, hopefully he'll be able to um, get out also. If he doesn't feel like he can, he will turn around and come back home. But we had to go and get a few groceries. We did that, made sure we had um, cat food. Phoebe had dog food, but the cats had... Um, they were, they'd probably have enough that would last, but I just went ahead and picked up some anyway, because, you know, you don't want to run out of cat food, because if they see the bottom of their bowl, they're like, fill it up, fill it up. <laughs> Cats are so funny. They want that bowl full all the way, and they'll sit there meowing if, if it's not, and you go pour a little food in there, and they're okay they'll eat them but they won't eat if they can see the bottom of the bowl so funny but I always mix it up so that they are eating what was given to them first and then I add food in there and then I add the food that was in their bowl back on top so that it is getting eat eaten <laughs> oh, sassy don't know she don't know my little trick or she would call me out on it <laughs> oh goodness so anyway guys uh what do you got going on today what's going on in your world anybody else dealing with water left over from the storms that we've had all week um the storms might just now be hitting some places because it just left here yesterday we had even a little bit more last night, I believe. Yeah, last night. And anyway. But I just want to let you guys know, I know y'all have seen on TV all the weather that we've been having and the tornado warnings and watches and, oh, it's been rough. And there's a lot of people without electricity down here right now. Um, and the hotels are full. I did see someone say that well ago that their generator's not working. They can't get the generator to work. <clears throat> They're actually looking for somebody who can come work on their generator. Um, because they don't have power and the hotels are full. So now they're back to trying to get their generator working. So, yeah, some people are dealing with it. And, you know, not just in my state and other states too, I know, if they had storms like this. But anyway, guys, it's just a quick video. Yeah, I just want to let you know we're safe. We're safe. Because um, I've seen some people ask, you know, and they said they were worried about us and praying for us. But we're good. We're, we are. Me and Big Daddy, <clears throat> Phoebe and Sissy and Sassy, we're good. We're just going to hunker down and probably enjoy our weekend. Unless that water just rolls on off. You yeah, know, we're going to check it. We're going to keep check of it every day. <clears throat> if that water rolls on off and drains, like I said, if they would open the locks and dams down in Columbia, 
Louisiana, um, Lafouche Bayou that is right here by my house. Um, Lafouche could drain on off. But we did ride down there and looked at Lafouche and which Big Daddy passes it every day on his way to work. But I wanted to see it for myself. And it is full out of its banks both ways. Um east and west of it the the bayou is out of its banks and it is just pouring into the wma past our house it's just the water's just pouring in there <laughs> and then we got water coming from uptown just pouring into our community here so, yeah, you see some people on the video, you could see that some people's yards are just nothing but water. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is out here sometimes. Uh, I just made that one not a lot tighter and keep going. Um, that's just the way it is, you know, sometimes. Not all the time, but it does happen, and we just learn to live with it. No, we're not moving. <laughs> Other people say, why don't you move? We're not moving. This is our home. This is our home. I've been here 34 years. I'll be here as long as the Lord lets me. And Big Daddy's been out here his whole life. And he'll be here as long as the Lord lets him. <laughs> we couldn't sell our land anyway. Nobody's going to buy land out here. The WMA would probably buy it, but they wouldn't give anything for it. Not for us to outright buy something else. And we're not taking on any kind of payments. Not taking that on. We're trying to live stress-free, okay? <laughs> but no, we're not going anywhere. We'll be here forever. So, alright friends, I'm going to let you all get going. Love you guys. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet. Whether you're trapped in your house or not. <laughs> Bye, friends.